Hey, how's it going guys? Um, coming to you with another video, guys. I've actually been on like quite the roll with the videos lately, guys. Um, I've been shooting a lot of videos, um, a lot more than I usually do. Um, just cause like I said, guys, I have a new phone, so I'm able to record a lot more and hold a lot more uh, videos on my phone than I used to. I used to only be able to hold like one Mac, so now I can shoot a couple if I'm gonna be busy and can't upload. So that's definitely helping the channel a lot. Um, as far as, you know, being able to come up with content for you guys um, and putting up my haul videos. Um, but starting out things a little different, guys. I recently started a uh, subscription at my local comic shop to pick up new books. So uh, I am picking up, like, finally, after, like, six or seven years of collecting, um, I'm finally picking up new books. So um, I just thought, you know, might as well get them as they come out instead of always being behind and trying to pick up the back issues eventually. Um... But yeah, guys, um, I subscribed to like seven different titles, so uh, you guys will see the, some of them in this haul and some of them, I'm sure, in the next haul or one of the next videos. Because um, I only got four books, so from my pull list, I guess. So I don't know how often they come out, but I just kind of go every couple weeks now and uh, pick it up. But uh, first up, guys, uh, we got Daredevil number 597. Uh, like I said, guys, going in for a complete uh, Daredevil run, so this was kind of a no-brainer to put on my pull list. Uh, really like that Kingpin cover. And then, because I picked up the uh, first two issues, that is Batman and the Teenage Mutant, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, that's a mouthful. Uh, number three, really cool cover with Bane there. Um, then up next, guys, picked up... Captain America, issue number 697. Really, really like that cover, guys. Almost at issue number 700, so that'll be really awesome when that actually comes out. I think I saw a preview for number 700, um, and I think like the Hulk was on the cover or something like that. I don't know, maybe I was mistaken, but uh, really awesome Craven Hunter. Really dig that. And then the last book I got for my pull list, guys. Uh, because I'm such a big fan of Iron Fist, um, as you'll see, if you guys stay tuned to the end of the video, uh, there's going to be a really, really big key issue, so definitely stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, so Iron Fist number 76, nice Sabretooth appearance. Really, really dig that cover, guys. Uh, this is definitely an Iron, like, this run of Iron Fist is definitely what I want to complete. Um, and then, I, guys, I went to my, the first stack of books that you guys are going to see, um, I actually went yesterday and picked up, so, like, all my pull list and... The next couple books you're going to see um, from that stack I got yesterday. And then the other books I got uh, maybe like a week or two ago at um, my comic book store. So there's a little bit of a time difference between picking these up. So yesterday I also got this one. Uh, Captain America 606. I was actually supposed to have this issue already, guys. I ordered a lot of Captain America issues and the guy sent me the books and kind of like what happened with the Daredevil number one I was supposed to get. Uh, he sent me the wrong books. So uh, it, it was actually kind of funny, guys, because he actually sent me like issues to like this weird like girls comic. But it's actually, I looked them up and they're actually like, pretty valuable. But I messaged the guy and I told him that like, I, I got the wrong books. And he said he'd pay for the return shipping if I wouldn't mind ship, like sending the books back to him. And I didn't have a problem with that. Just kind of sucks that he said he'd give me a full refund. It just kind of sucks that. You know, um, I don't get my books, and now I have to go out of my way to send those back to them. And I just, yeah, not looking forward to that. But, um, yeah, so that's a lot of fun. Um, and then I picked up uh, Daredevil issue number 354. Really, really dig that cover, guys. Uh, head to head with Spider Man. No, no. I don't know, I just like when Daredevil and Spider Man team up. They're a nice team up. And then, really cool, like, I don't know if this is a variant, guys, or this is the actual cover. Um, that's Daredevil number 506 with, like, Iron Man-type-looking dude on the cover. It doesn't look exactly like Iron Man, but it looks like one of Iron Man's suits. So, not too sure. I actually really, really like that cover. Um, then up next, guys, I picked up number 611. Sorry, guys, just got a text, so oh, threw me off for a sec there, but, um... Uh, then found these for like $2, uh, which considering how new they are, that's a pretty good deal. Uh, this is uh, Captain America and Iron Man, issue number 633. 
One Night in Madripoor. Madripoor. Hope I said that right. I'm just really illiterate. <laughs> um, Captain America, issue number five, six, thirty-four. Um, really happy to have this, guys. I uh, really dig that cover. Um, like I said, I'm always going for my Captain America uh, run. So to find these for like two dollars, considering how new they are, that was a pretty good deal. Um, then still trying to pick up the ones that were supposed to be in that lot. Issue number six oh seven, with Falcon there. And then was really really happy, guys, to come across this Daredevil issue. Um, I don't know. I think I think it might have been five dollars for that issue, which I didn't have a problem paying because I never actually really ever see this issue. Um, this is Beware the Hulk. I uh, just really like when, you know, the Hulk appears in other people's, uh, you know, comments. Because he just always kind of shows up and then just, like, kind of messes F shit up. So, I don't know. I just really like that. I thought that was... I don't know. I really dig that cover. Just, like, the Hulk hand uh, and Daredevils, they're all beat up and stuff. I don't know. Pretty awesome. And I needed it for my Daredevil run anyway, so it worked out. And then, uh, always going for my Amazing Spider-Man run. This is issue number 16. Uh, a spy thriller supreme featuring the Mac Macabre ghost. So cool. Needed that for my Spider Man run. And then, um, really, really like this cover, guys. Um, I picked it up like as soon as I saw it. Like, my comic book store didn't have it. And I guess they put in a bunch of issues the day I went. So, <laughs> got it right away. Because probably wouldn't have been there too long. Um, that's number 472. I just like how Peter's at the chalkboard and, you know, writing everything down. All, like, the equations and stuff like that. I don't know. Badass. Um, then the last Spider-Man book I got, guys. Uh, just more for my run. Uh, issue number six. Said the Spider-Woman to the man. Oh, that book's falling down. Really did that black, blue background, guys. Um, and then I picked up a bunch of Daredevil books, guys. Uh, I'll, try, I'll try and go through them pretty quick. I don't want to take too long on them. Uh, that's issue number 409. Like I said, guys, I am going for a complete Daredevil run. So, you know, really banging them off uh, in the last little bit. So, uh, there's number 68. Nice black and white with a little bit of red on the cover, but mostly black and white cover. I um, really dig that. And then uh, issue number 85. Really, really like that, like, trippy cover there. Really like the art style there. Um, then up next, guys, I got issue number 44, Low Life 405. And then issue number 46. Sorry if they're all over the place, guys. They're not in, I don't think they're in order, per se. Uh, and then number 50, with their double just kind of chilling there. You know, he's pretty beat up after a fight. I don't think he's just kind of, you know, lounging around on a Sunday. Um... Then number 60. And then um, the next book I have, guys, um, also a Daredevil book. Um, this is actually one of my favorite covers in the entire haul. I don't know, it's just a very like seductive-ish cover, and I, I really I really dig it. Um, that's issue number 61, uh, with Black Widow there, like holding, I think, Daredevil's mask there. And I don't know, she's just looking like real seductive and like, I don't know, black I find you know, Black Widow pretty hot in like the movies and stuff like that. So, I don't know. I, I don't know. I just thought the cover was pretty cool. Definitely one of my favorite in the haul, for sure. Um, there's number 416. Best Writer Wizard. Comics Buyer's Guide. Mm. Don't know what that's about. Then picked up Daredevil issue number 43. Low Life Part 3 of 5. And then, guys, picked up a major, major key off eBay. Um, I actually bought this book in a lot of four. So it basically came with the first appearance of this character and then, like, the three, like, subsequent issues. Because um, I was looking for this key um, that I haven't showed you guys yet. Um, and basically, it was another one of those. Basically, the lot was, like, the same price that just, like, the singular issue was going to be. So I might as well have gotten the lot. And... Yeah, guys, I'm really happy to have this in my collection. Uh, this is Flash, issue number 138. First appearance of the Black Flash. Uh, really, really like that cover, guys. Um, there's actually a cover in the next couple books that's actually probably, probably my favorite next to that Daredevil one um, in this haul. 
Um, but that, that's 138 first Black Flash. We're really happy to have that in my collection. Um, like I said, uh, I think I mentioned this in a couple of videos. I just finished um, recently the uh, Flash season three. And you see Black Flash uh, again, which is just Zoom basically, like all zombified or whatever. But um, yeah, so I thought I'd pick up his, his first appearance. It kind of reminded me of the character. Um, and then in that lot, the subsequent issues were 139, Black Flash, Black Flash Part 1 of 3. And then issue number 140, Part 2 of 3. Really awesome cover. Sorry about the glare, guys. Um, and then this is the one I was talking about, guys, that I really like the cover. Um, 141, where like the Black Flash is chasing the Flash. And just because how fast the Black Flash is, I don't know, I just kind of find it funny that, you know, they're always running away from him. <laughs> and I don't know. I just like that purple background. I think it it really looks good. Um, and then picked up a bunch of Captain America issues for my run, guys, because like I said, always going for that. Um, issue number 620, Captain America and Bucky. And then Captain America and Bucky, issue number 621. Then 623. They were getting kind of expensive, guys, so I did pay a uh, cover price for most of these new issues, unfortunately. Um, Captain America 624. Really like that cover as well with Black Widow there. And then another really cool cover of like Cap's really old shield. 625. And then we got 626. Really cool cover, guys. And then they kind of took uh, Bucky out and they replaced him with Hawkeye in issue number 630 with like all like the Velociraptors, which I really dig that cover, guys, because I'm a big dinosaur fan. So and then the uh, next issue, 631. And then they were like, see a Hawkeye, and they brought in Black Widow, and that's issue number 636, which I really like when Black Widow and Daredevil, or Captain America team up. Same with when she teams up with Daredevil, though, as I did say that. Um, but. And then I really, really like this cover, guys. Um, issue number 637, just with all, like, the Marvel Avengers and, like, characters in the, uh, in, like, the tanks. They got Thor, Spider-Man, Hawkeye. Uh, I think that's Wolverine, uh, the Hulk, Iron Man, Black Panther, and Punisher there. So, I don't know. I just thought that was a cool cover. Um, and then up next, guys, picked up issue number 639. Cool lizard cover there with Doc Ock. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't think you can actually see Doc Ock, to be honest. It's his arms. Uh... Maybe, maybe they're coming out of the lizard, guys, to be honest. It kind of looks like they're coming out of the lizard. Um, but I'll definitely have to read to find out on that one. Um, and then, guys, I was super, super bummed. Um, I got home, and 6.15 is, like, I, I, I'm not sure what happened to it, guys. There's, like, kind of like another book was on top of it. Because if you look at, like, the white part for the Captain America, it's, like, not clear if that makes sense uh let's see if i can find another book in the hall that has like a similar heading type deal um yeah i don't know if i if i have one in this hall but um it's kind of like the the white in there is like messed up on this you probably can't tell from the camera but um yeah it looks like there was like another book like stacked on top of it and they weren't in bags of boards so they like robbed or something i'm not entirely sure but i was pretty really pretty bummed out i think i'm gonna buy another copy of this because i really really like that cover of bucky like holding a gun and they're kind of on like the scale so then guys major major key issue um really really nice uh high grade book especially for like this bronze age book uh, picked up another CGC, uh, Iron Fist number one. Uh, you guys probably can't see the grade. Uh, here, I'll pull the camera back um, so you guys can see. Um, but that's issue number uh, number one. 
uh, first Iron Fist, not first Iron Fist, but first Iron Fist issue. Um, really, really like that cover, guys, with um, Iron Man there. Iron Man and Iron Fist, kind of funny. Um, but yeah, guys, I finished the uh, Iron Fist show um, a while ago, and I really, really liked Iron Fist, so I really wanted to get his first issue, because this is a series I really want to complete. And where better to start uh, than number one. I still need Marvel Premiere 15, which I believe is his first appearance. Uh, I still need that book. And I'm hoping to get it in 2018. I'm, I'm hoping. Uh, especially when the price drops a little more from the uh, TV show. Which kind of skyrocketed the price. Same with this issue. But this is an 8.5, guys. Really nice issue. Um, I hope you enjoyed the haul. I got a lot more keys for you guys coming in my next video. Um, yeah, guys, I think that's all I have to say for this one. Uh, stay tuned for future videos. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you.